We are uh, going to have congregational prayer, and then uh, we'll do a, a little children's message, and then they'll go off to Sunday school uh, with Mrs. V. Uh, if, if that's okay, can we wait that long? Maybe? Maybe? Okay, we're getting restless. Well, we won't take too long then. I'll do the uh, congregational prayer, uh, and yeah, it'll be good, right? It'll be good. All right. So um, this morning, the offering is for Christian Blind Missions. This is a great uh, ministry that that helps people throughout the world who are either here or vision impaired or who are uh, completely unable to see getting access to the scriptures, either through assistive uh, technologies, everything from glasses to um, you know, helping them to learn uh, Braille and so on, or uh, getting uh, reading devices and so on. Uh, but it is a very good ministry. So please be in prayer uh, about how God might be calling you to give to that cause. In terms of congregational prayer, uh, just a couple things to update you about. First of all, um, could you please be in prayer for Ray and Tina? Uh, Tina's back there. Hi, Tina. Um, Tina has a, a meeting uh, with uh, immigration officials on the 28th, uh, tomorrow, basically. That's the 28th, right? So, um, so if you could be in prayer about that. Uh, we don't know exactly what they want, but our, our, our fears are that they want something that we don't want. So please be in prayer for Ray and Tina um, as they have that meeting tomorrow. Also, uh, we want to, uh, to ask you to pray for classes. Classes meets this Friday and uh, Saturday, the 4th and 5th. Uh, so please be in prayer for that. As always, um, Andy and Edith, are um, probably moving out soonish. Uh, they are moving closer to uh, their children and grandchildren in the sort of Niagara area. So uh, please be in prayer for them, but please also give them your well wishes and love as well. Let's come to God in prayer. Father, this morning we come to you in prayer uh, with a world full of conflict, O oh God. Of course, in the news, for most of us, we have seen the conflict in Ukraine escalating and we see the, the worry about many things, O oh God. But at the same time, we confess, O oh God, that there are many, many conflicts in the world and sometimes we confess that they are to us out of sight and out of mind, but they are no less significant and difficult. And so, Lord, we lay before you the people of Ukraine and Russia and all of Europe, but also we lay before you the people of Myanmar and Afghanistan and Yemen and Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, Ethiopia, Eritrea, and Sudan, Colombia, and Venezuela, Somalia, Kenya, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Uganda, Nigeria, Algeria, Burkina Faso, Chad, Libya, Mali, Niger, Tunisia, Togo, Benin, and the Ivory Coast, Sudan, Iraq, Rwanda, Burundi, Lord, we lay before you Cameroon, and Syria, and South Sudan, and the Central African Republic. Lord, we lay before you Mozambique, and Tanzania, and Mexico, and so many other countries where conflicts, armed conflicts, small and large, are going on even now. Some of them having been going on for decades upon decades. And we ask for mercy upon this world. We ask, O oh God, that the great spiritual conflict of which all of these are symptomatic, 
would come to its final conclusion. And that the victory that is sure in you, Jesus Christ, would come in peace and victory upon this earth manifestly so that Your will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we pray for not only these large armed conflicts, O God, but we pray for the conflicts between individuals here on this earth. We pray for the conflicts within our very hearts and minds and souls. And we pray, O God, that we may ever be more transformed by the renewing of our minds. That we may come more and more to bear Your image more fully and more faithfully in this world. Lord, this morning, we pray for Christian Blind Mission. We thank You for their efforts to bring the Gospel and to bring healing and help to those who suffer vision impairments. Lord, we pray. We pray for our classes as we meet together later this week. We pray that You would give our leaders and and delegates wisdom as they proceed with the business of classes. We thank You for the many ministries that we are able to join in together as a region. Lord, right here within our own congregation, we pray, we pray for Ray and Tina. We pray that their meeting with the immigration officials would go well. That we would be pleasantly surprised through Your miraculous intervention in whatever is at play there. Lord, we pray for Andy and Edith as they prepare to move. We pray that You will bless them and strengthen them and that there will be great joy in the reunion of parents and grandparents and great-grandparents with their children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Lord, in our community, we pray for the family whose home was destroyed by fire and whose child died this past week in that fire. Lord God, we pray that You would continue to bless that family through the rallying of the community. We pray that You will be with the firefighters who attempted to quell that blaze and who discovered this little boy's body. Lord, would You comfort and strengthen them in their good work as well. Thank You for them. Lord, we pray that You would comfort a grieving mother and community. Father, we pray for all of those who grieve at this time. Lord, we continue to think of Jean and her family as they continue to grieve. But for all of us who have lost loved ones or who are simply struggling with the realities of life right now, Father, thank You so much that it appears that we may be going into uh, less restrictions and that more of our ministries may be possible. Lord, we pray that You would give government leaders wisdom, that You would give us wisdom and compassion as we move out of mandates. Lord God, may we be understanding to those whose views are different than ours on these things. May we provide room for one another, and love and compassion as well. Father, as we come to Your Scriptures for the message, we pray that You would illuminate our hearts and minds that we may hear what You would have us hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.